in this video we are going to discuss about recursion in c++ recursion means a function which is calling by itself that means the calling function and the called function both are same let us see a sample program in order to demonstrate recursion uh, hash include ivostream.h hash include ivostream.h why because c out and c in objects are present in ivostream.h int main if the program is successfully compiled and executed main function return zero value next let us call a function called hi hi next define hi function hi display some messages c out less than less than hi now let us call hi function hi so now what will happen from the main function we are calling the hi function so control v goes to the hi next c out less than less than hi this message will get printed next hi function called so once again control goes to the hi function definition so c out less than less than hi this message will get printed once again we have called the hi function okay so control goes to the hi function definition so once again hi will get printed next hi function is called so once again control goes to the hi function this is called as recursion recursion means the calling function and the called function must be the same here what is the calling function the calling function is hi why because in hi function we are calling the hi function so the calling function is hi in hi function we are calling the hi whereas what is the called function the called function is hi we are calling this function so if the calling and the called function both are same then it is called as the recursion why implementing the recursion we must use a base condition we must use a base condition so whenever that base condition is executed then the control will come out from the recursive function in this function we don't have any base condition so this hi function will be called infinite number of times so this is the problem here if we want to come out from this function then we have to use a base condition okay that we will see later in factorial of a given number program in this video only first let us see about some important points regarding the recursion the first point is in recursion the calling function and the called function both are same so what is the calling function here hi what is the called function hi if the calling function and the called function are same then only we can call that as recursion and the second point is recursion means we must use functions if there is no functions then there is no recursion here we have a function recursion means recursive function recursion can be implemented only on the functions concepts if there is no if if we don't implement the functions then there is no recursion okay so this is the second point and the third important point is in recursion we use conditional control statements such as we use simple if if else else if ladder if there is only one condition we use simple if if there are two conditions then we use if else if there are more than two conditions then we use else if ladder but we should not use looping control statements in recursive function in recursive function we must always use conditional control statements such as if if else else if ladder only we should not use looping control statements if we use looping control statements inside a recursive function then we may get the output and the next important point is if we use as recursion then the speed is very very slower then the speed of the program is very very slower let us assume that we called this hi function 100 times recursion means what is recursion a function which is called by itself let us assume that we call this function 100 times then what will happen is whenever a function is called then the control goes to the function definition so it requires one instruction in order to go to the function definition next once the function definition is executed then the control has to come to the next statement after the function call 
so in order to come to the next statement after the function call it requires one more instruction so we require two additional instructions in order to implement the function concept if we call the function 100 times then how many additional instructions we have to execute 100 plus for each function we require two additional instructions so 100 into 2 means we require 200 additional instructions in order to implement the recursion so obviously what will happen the speed of the program will be reduces and one more important point is uh, there are some there are some problems we can solve those problems with the help of recursion very very easily we have mergesort and quicksort algorithms we have mergesort and quicksort algorithms we can implement these two algorithms very very easily with the help of the recursion if we don't use recursion then it becomes quite difficult in order to implement these two algorithms so we can solve some problems very easily with the help of the recursion only and one more important point regarding the recursion is if we use the recursion then the length of the program will be reduces if you don't use the recursion then we have to type more number of instructions whereas if we use the recursion then the length of the program will be reduces so these are the some important points regarding the regarding the recursion now let's see factorial of a given number using the recursion let us see how we can write factorial of a given number program with the help of the recursion so hash include hash include iostream.h iostream.h now let us define the function first to define the function if you define the function on top of the main function there is no need of the function declaration so int int fact of int n int fact of int n here we have two conditions that's why i'm using uh, if else if n double is equal to 0 the factorial of 0 is 1 whereas the factorial for uh, the formula for n factorial is n into n minus 1 factorial else the factorial of 0 is 1 so that's why we are returning 1 else return the formula is what n into n minus 1 factorial here for implementing the factorial we are using fact function so n into fact of n minus 1 so this is n of 1 now let us define the main function int main int main int n is equal to n is equal to 4 c out less than less than fact of n <coughs> fact of n next execute return 0 why because if the program is successfully compiled and executed main function returns a value called 0 here the base condition is this is the base condition if n double is equal to 0 so whenever n double is equal to 0 then we can come out from the function so while implementing the recursion this base function is this base condition is very very important okay let's see how this program is going to be executed we know that uh, the the execution of a program always starts from the main function int n is equal to 4 c out less than less than fact of n so control goes to the fact function here this fact function is called as recursive function why because in fact function we are calling the fact function so this is the calling function this is the called function so that's why this is an example for recursion so what is n value 4 if n double is equal to 0 false so else block will get executed return n into fact of n minus 1 what is n value 4 so 4 into fact of 3 fact of 3 so now fact of 3 so once again we have called the function so control goes to the fact function now n become 3 3 double is equal to 0 false so else block will get executed n into fact of n minus 1 n value 3 so 3 into fact of 3 minus 1 means 2 so once again we called fact function fact of 2 so once again control goes to the fact function n becomes 2 2 double is equal to 0 false else block will get executed n into fact of n minus 1 what is n value 2 so 2 into fact of 2 minus 1 means 1 so once again we have called fact function so control goes to the fact function definition n value 1 1 double is equal to 0 false so else block will get executed 1 into fact of 0 
1 into fact of 0. So once again we call the fact function. So control goes to the fact function. M value 0. 0 double is equal to 0. 0 double is equal to 0. This is the base condition. Return 1. So 1 will be written now. So 1 into 1. 1 into 1 means 1. Now this 1 will be written to its previous function call. This 1 will be written now. So 2 into 1. 2 into 1 means 2. Now this 2 will be written to its previous function call. 3 into 2 means 6. Now this 6 will be written to its previous function call. 4 into 6 means 24. Now this 24 will be written and this 24 will be printed here. So this is about uh, recursion and in this way we can calculate factorial of a given number with the help of the recursion in C++ program.